Oh, hi, and welcome to Buildings and Boats, but I'm still working on this ramp and some of the uh, supports behind it. And one, the first thing I notice here is the light's not typical. Um, I think my lighting equipment was adjusted a little cool. I notice it's not the same as um, some of the others, but <clears throat> it's only a short portion of the entire video so I guess you'll have to bear with me but I'm not loving the color here uh, I think it's maybe 10-15 minutes of this and then it goes back to normal so I apologize for that um, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm trying to create all the uh, shadows across this uh, concrete ramp it's kind of ribbed uh, like many of the ferry landings and so I'm using um, kind of a, a, a lavender gray combination uh, as sort of a very, very, very faint uh, for the base. And then over the top of that have been applications with um, a little bit of uh, Prussian and cerulean and manganese for the uh, shadow color that's cast. Occasionally I'll touch a little black to dull it down and there are areas here in the shadows that I have had to come back and cheat a little with some Chinese white now that's not an opaque uh, color it's not a it's not an opaque value it's um, going to change the value of the the color that you put down it will lighten it but it's not going to be opaque so it's still a transparent uh, watercolor, but I typically try not to use it. If I plan well enough, um, I shouldn't need to use a lot of white. And <clears throat> part of what I'm going to be doing in this buildings and boats is that building in the background, and you can see there's a, a railing, and I had to work around that. Um, so rather than paint it white, which would look like it was built up on the surface of the paper I initially put down a little bit of resist material masking fluid and that worked most of the areas but it didn't work everywhere and uh, I still have to paint around it with the background of the that kind of uh, reddish brown so Occasionally these resists work. I think they're better in um, nature, maybe, than they are in working with structures, unless you're just trying to put an outline on something that you just don't want to um, you know, invade, like uh, the roof line on this building that you see. Uh, I had put a line of resist material when I was working on the trees behind it because I didn't want the greens and so forth to get down onto the roof. Uh, so that did a good job for that, but in terms of, it's very hard to paint with it, and it's very hard to control it and put it exactly where you want it. Um, it's hard to get thin lines with it. So it's not bad for masking kind of uh, irregular shapes, but if you're trying to control it and make it something very specific, it's kind of a challenge. So it has its uh, drawbacks. So here I'm building up. Uh, starting with the lightest values that I can see and working uh, the uh, equipment that's on the side here and the kind of a fence and a railing and boy, all kinds of uh, mechanical gear some of which I I understand and some I don't and that's the hardest stuff to paint is the things that I'm really not sure what their function is but um, I talked about that already and I'm just pushing ahead and, and painting what I'm seeing. So, uh, you know, hopefully I'm getting it correct um, and not misinterpreting something completely. Uh, I mean, I can see where there's curbing and concrete and when the shadows are cast, those are the things I'm concentrating on. Uh, and there are a few of the details in the background that I just kind of want to be a little bit ambiguous. You know, there might be a bunch of vertical lines and horizontal lines and indications of metal objects, but I'm not going to delineate every single uh, piece of metal back there. 
and um, there's plenty of detail in this as it is so some of that uh, I will just let the eye do what it will do which is generally make sense of uh, the background and concentrate more on the things that are in focus in the foreground at least that's what I'm hoping for and I want to be drawing attention in this painting and we're not even there yet I want to be drawing attention to first of all a few figures that will be in the foreground on the uh, the tail of the the fan tail I guess it is of the fairy and um, also um, some boats that and in particular and the water is very interesting in this because it's all churned up and it's really beautiful kind of a blue green uh, combination of colors so okay now the lighting is flipped and this is more typical of my lighting and here you can see the color a little bit better and that color in the that I'm doing a actual light that's a mechanical light that's mounted to uh, part of the dock here and part of the railing and then the uh, building behind there is a combination of um, well there's a lizard and some cad red a little bit of rose there's some burnt sienna uh, and it's all kind of mixed uh, in, uh, irregularly and I have to go around some of these objects that are going to be painted in here and um, clean up a place a few places where that uh, masking fluid didn't shouldn't be or, or blocked out something that I didn't want blocked out so it's um, it's a slow process but uh, I know the colors that will work there and eventually I get to doing some of the windows that you see and the pilings that support the uh, building and some of the uh, rafters that are sticking out from beneath the floor to support the joists uh, big beams that are supported on these pilings so I'll be painting those things once I get off of that, I'm going to continue around uh, the bay, as it were, and do some of the buildings that are on land, and then the, some of the dock, and then I'll be working my way out to the boat. And so there's, seems to me, I feel like there's several paintings here. Um, and that's one way to think about it. You know, you're, com you're if you cut up your composition, uh, you can probably identify several areas that will would uh, could be composed as a complete composition in themselves and and be a painting in themselves. But this is a large one. I knew it would be a challenge when I got going, and I'm pressing on. <laughs> it may take the rest of the summer to get it done, but that's okay. It it should be pretty pretty interesting when it's all all said and done at least I'm hoping and thanks for hanging in there with me I'm going to speed up the uh, video so that uh, these lapses of action like you're experiencing right now don't uh, last too long and I think you'll be able to tell what I'm doing even though it's going to be moving much faster so I'll uh, I'll jump back in when I'm doing something that needs discussion.
same question. But I'm not afraid anymore. I'm in control. Because I'm acknowledging it. I'm stepping out of it. Observing it and watching it weaken. Okay. 